Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Nogi course. And today we're going to keep going with the overhook uh, attacks. So uh, just do, get on with it. Lasse here. So I traded out Lasse today because Christian wants to be behind the camera for these techniques. <laughs> and so what we're going to be doing here is uh, looking at the attacks we're going to do from the overhook, right? So you can set up this overhook already from uh, close guard. It doesn't have to necessarily be from close guard, right? You could already start from this kind of scenario here, right? But starting from the close guard, a lot of the times you get this arm over and you're already getting close and clamping his arm tight to you, right? From here, you're just gonna move your hips out to the same side. So now I'm putting my feet on his hips here. This is so that I can control and manage the distance between me and him, right? It makes sense because the closer he would get to me, the easier it would be for him to posture up and then eventually he would square up and then pull his arm out. Especially in Nogi, this is pretty slippery at some point, so this arm can easily go out. Whereas if I'm on my side here, this is what prevents him from pulling this arm out and I'm really keeping this elbow clamped tight to my ribs so that if he tries to pull his arm out, it's stuck, right? Now the first attack we're gonna go through here is the arm bar. And the arm bar is actually quite easy as long as you understand the mechanics of it, right? So you just have to understand his thumb is basically pointing down towards my ribs here. And I have to manage the distance so that I'm sliding far enough back so that I, I can see his elbow here. And so that I can now put some pressure on top of his arm and start bending it, okay? so. If you're too tight, you have to make sure that you slide out and now you're gonna put the pressure. Watch how I'm gonna use this leg here on top here. So I'm putting my foot basically on the side of his hips like this, and I'm gonna clamp down with this inside of my knee here down towards his shoulder, right? So this creates a pretty good tension and as well it opens up for a lot of different attacks like the umoplata and so on, right? So still holding on here, I'm going like this, and now eventually, he's gonna be tapping because of the pressure on the arm, right? I do have some different attacks, but this one is the first to go to here, okay? Let's go a little bit back. So here once again, swim my arms, let's say I catch it, and now I'm controlling the distance. And so I'm moving back so I know his elbow is on the outside here and not behind me, right? If that happens, then it's gonna be hard for me to uh, bend his elbow, right? So that's basically what I'm trying to do. Here, boom, and now finish it there, okay? What can happen here is that his arm slips out, okay? So now suddenly I don't have any pressure going into the arm bar, but that's fine. I'll just keep going with this leg on top. So now I'm going in for a rolling arm bar where I'm gonna bring this knee here in front of his face and I'm gonna hook with my foot behind his neck here. So I'm basically just going over my shoulder, over my forehead, and coming into this position here. So you can finish the armbar from this position, or even lying here on the other side. But most guys will try to roll to defend or give them at least some chance of defending this submission, right? So likely, Lass is gonna roll here, and we end up into a normal standard uh, armbar here, right? From this position, I can just throw my leg over here with both of my legs parallel and then going for the armbar here. Or what's likely gonna happen is when Lasse tries to turn in towards me, I'm gonna throw this leg behind and then the other one in front, right? And from here, I can put him back down and then finish. If you wanna be a little bit more detailed on how to hold with your hands, I try to hold around the bottom of his thumb here so it's not really on the finger, but right underneath here, right? and I can bring the other hand on top and I'm gonna point that elbow up towards the ceiling to get a lot of pressure, right? At the same time, I'm obviously squeezing my knees together and bringing my hips up, okay? One last time. So I got the overhook here. Try to go for the first one. Let's say he arm slips out. I'm gonna go and roll. He rolls further and now I'm gonna hook the back of his neck here, okay? so. Boom, finish. When I go more pressure, we have it there. Oops. 
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Wuss.